Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It is January 28th, 2024, and we are in the Old Testament. We're going to start the book of First or Second Chronicles, sorry. Second Chronicles, chapter 1. Okay, so we think this is the same author or same group of authors that did First Chronicles. Uh, some kind of a priest or a Levi, uh, maybe a public official, and, and he's going through some of the different records and putting together this story for exiles returning from Persia back to their promised land and he's trying to connect them to everything that came before and show them hey you know what obedience to god led us to blessings disobedience led us to exile now that we're coming back out of exile let's go back to obedience that worked really good for us uh second chronicles we're going to start with solomon and we're going to run all the way to the exile of, of israel and then judah so we're going to start with Solomon asking for wisdom. We're going to start with Solomon uh, finishing what David started. David moved the ark to Jerusalem from Gibeon. Solomon's going to take the rest of the utensils and, and tabernacle and altar and move that as well and establish the temple, which is going to be the focus point for Israel until Jesus comes. So let's go ahead and we're going to read Second Chronicles. Chapter 1. Now Solomon, the son of David, was strengthened in his kingdom, and the Lord his God was with him and exalted him exceedingly. And Solomon spoke to all Israel, to the captains of thousands and of hundreds, to the judges and to every leader in all Israel, the heads of the fathers' houses. Then Solomon and all the assembly with him went to the high place that was at Gibeon. For the tabernacle of the meeting with God was there, which Moses, the servant of the Lord, had made in the wilderness. But David had brought up the ark of God from kirjath jerim in the place of David, and prepared for, to the place David had prepared for it. For he had pitched a tent for it at Jerusalem. Now the bronze altar that Bezalel, the son of Uri, the son of Hur, had made, he put before the tabernacle of the Lord. Solomon and the assembly sought him there. And Solomon went up there to the bronze altar before the Lord, which was at the tabernacle of meeting, and offered a thousand burnt offerings on it. On that night, God appeared to Solomon and said to him, Ask, what shall I give you? Solomon said to God, You have shown great mercy to David my father and have made me king in his place. Now, O Lord God, let your promise to David my father be established, for you have made me king over a people like the dust of the earth and in multitude. Now give me wisdom and knowledge that I may go out and come in before this people, for who can judge this great people of yours? Then God said to Solomon, Because this was in your heart, and you have not asked riches or wealth or honor or the life of your enemies, nor have you asked long life, but have asked wisdom and knowledge for yourself, that you may judge my people over whom I have made you king, wisdom and knowledge are granted to you, and I will give you your riches and wealth and honor, such as none of the kings who have, who have had who were before you, nor shall any after you have the like. So Solomon came to Jerusalem from the high place that was at Gibeon, from before the tabernacle of meeting, and reigned over Israel. And Solomon gathered chariots and horsemen. He had 1,400 chariots and 12,000 horsemen, whom he stationed in the chariot cities and with the king in Jerusalem. Also the king made silver and gold as common in Jerusalem as stones, and he made cedars as abundant as the sycamores which are in the lowland. And Solomon had horses imported from Egypt and Kiva. The king's merchants bought them in Kiva at the current price. They also acquired and imported them from Egypt a chariot for 600 shekels of silver and a horse for 150. Thus, through their agents, they exported them to all the kings of the Hittites and the kings of Syria. May God bless the reading of his word. May God bless you. Bye.